Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you'll be fine. I am Muhammad Fazil Shahzad recording the computer lesson for class 9th. Today is 6th of April 2021. It is Tuesday. So today our chapter number is 5 computer networks and the topic is important short questions. Okay. So now we are going to move on the next slide to carry on our topic okay so first we have to take start from the objectives the first objective is revise the short questions related to computer networks okay the first and the second uh, objective is analyze the types of computer networks with respect to geographical area okay so all these two objectives we will cover inshallah in today's lesson okay i'm going to turn on the annotator okay now so now uh, the first of all we will talk about the short questions chapter five okay yes the first short question that is a very very important question what is meant by computer networks so a computer network can be defined as an interconnection of two or more computers to share data and other resources as document printers and internet collection okay that is about the you can say computer network that we can connect two or more computers and then we can transform the data from one place to another we can see it as this is the computer network so internet is a worldwide network that interconnects millions of computers and provide information and uh, you can say communication facilities okay so uh, that is about the first question that what is meant by computer network you should know about this question that how to write this question in an emphasized way now the next slide the next question is write a note on simplex transmission mode very popular question with respect to your board exams so the first uh, paragraph the first thing that we have to know that is a simplex mode provides some transmission in only one direction okay so one end is the sender and other end is receiver so transmission of data information from keyboard to cpu or from cpu to printer is always in one direction okay so that is about the simplex transmission mode therefore these are simplex transmissions radio and television broadcasting are also simplex transmission that we can transform only the data from one direction only we can say it as one way communication or one way transferring of data that is about the simplex transmission mode okay this is also very emerging question so you have to know you have to practice of this question now we will talk about the third question what is meant by network architecture okay bohut hi zyada important question and the first paragraph is totally about the network architecture refers to layout of network yes you know architecture the meaning of architecture is totally about the layout so network architecture refers to layout of a network that consists of computers communication devices software wired or wireless transmission of data and connectivity between the components that is about the network architecture so a computer network can be as small as two computers linked together by a single cable whereas large network connects thousands computers and other devices okay so that is about the network architecture okay now fourth question write a note on point to point 
networks. What is about the point to point network? You know, it is a type of network in which a message is sent from one device to another via other computer in network. Very, very important question. Like it is a type of a network in which a message is sent from one computer to another via other computer in a network. Okay, that is about the computer or point to point network. So large networks such as wide area network that connect cities and countries are organized in such a way. You know, point to point network are generally used for long distance communication. There are maybe different paths for transmission of information. Okay. That is regarding the transmission uh, between point to point network. Okay. Now, move on the next slide. Next question. That is the fifth question. Okay. Write a note on communication via telephone network. This is the question we will discuss that what is a telephone network and uh, why we are giving preference to telephone communication. So the answer is telephone network is now commonly used for data communication. The main reason for using telephone network is that it exists all over the world. Okay, that is about the telephone network. The types that are mentioned is dial-up modem here, digital subscriber line here, integrated services, digital network, and code doing multiple access. That is about the, you can say, the network, telephone network. Okay. So that was about the fifth question. Now, sixth question. What is meant by communication over network? You know, communication over network refers to transmission of data information from one computer to another through communication medium. Actually, that is the communication medium, the transmission medium through which our data can transform by selecting any source that is about the communication. Now, these three. <coughs> These three types of network architecture. So we have these three types of network architecture, client server network architecture, peer to peer network architecture, and the point to point network architecture. These three are the network architectures. Move on to the next. So eighth question, define data transmission data transmission is the process of sending data from one device to another it consists of sender receiver and medium which carries the information okay what's what do you know about the data transmission we know we have uh, different kind of transmissions okay like analog transmission analog data transmission we have multiple kinds of data okay alphanumeric data numeric data image data audio data video data all these are the types of data now what is about the transmission okay transmission means to transform the data from one device to another or from source to destination that is about the data transmission okay so data transmission is totally about the process by selecting the particular medium to transform the data from source to destination or to transform the data transform the information from source to destination that's about the data transmission so now after that you should know about the list of three modes of data transmission yes simplex mode half duplex mode and full duplex mode. So what is about the simplex mode? We already have discussed that simplex mode is that our data can transform from one direction to another, but only in one way, only in, uh, you can say one way uh, communication. Okay, one way data transmission data will not move back from 
destination to source okay so that is about the simplex transmission now half duplex transmission data is transformed from source to destination and can come back from destination to source but not uh, simultaneously that is about the half duplex mode simultaneously means not in the same time now full duplex mode what is about full duplex mode the data will transform from source to destination and can come back from destination to source simultaneously means at the same time data can move back that is about the full duplex mode now next slide we will talk about the last question that is the characteristics of van yes a popular question characteristics of uh, wide area network what is about wide area network you know wide area network spans large geographical area it can connect computers between cities and countries so data transmission speed is slow data communication problem often occurs transmission medium is leased lines or public systems such as telephone lines or satellite links so that is regarding the characteristics of wide area network now after in the end of the lesson, we have the home task, elaborate the types of network with respect to geographical area. Okay, you should know about the networks with respect to geographical area. And after that, in the last question, we have a difference between peer to peer network and client server network architecture. Okay, first question is a long question of eight mark and the second one is a short question of three marks okay you have to write all these questions on your register your notebook or your loose sheets and send me the captured picture okay i will inshallah respond so if you feel any query any problem then you can contact me at this number at whatsapp okay students thank you so much allah Hafiz.